football, the quarterback sees the defense is about to stop them from the goal that they're trying to get to. So he calls an audible. He makes a switch in the play right before he hikes the ball. And so for right now in this time, in this season, God is saying that he's calling an audible and he needs for you to come into this zoo so that you can know what the game plan is so that we can provide game-changing experiences for you right now. Hey, it's Pastor Clay, and I am so excited to be talking to you right here, right now, in this moment. As I look around me, I'm here in northern Indiana, and I see snow melting all around me. And let me just tell you, for this Texas boy, that brings me a lot of joy. But I want to say this, as I see snow melting, it reminds me that the seasons are changing. And I believe that seasons are not only changing in the natural, but I believe seasons are changing in the supernatural. And I believe that God wants to change maybe a season that you've been going through in your life. Maybe it's been a rough season. Maybe it's been a bad season. But on the other side of that, the sunshine comes out and God wants to do something great. And so a game-changing moment is about to take place in so many people's lives. And so I'm excited to just bring that message to you today. Let's pray, let's prepare, and let's see what God can do in this new season. What I consider the real pandemic isn't COVID, um, it's not the flu, it's not the COVID vaccine, it's not 2020, it's not Trump, it's not Proud Boys, um, it's not somebody going into, into the Capitol building, it's not terrorism, any of those things. The real pandemic that I see, and that I see that's really plaguing us in America, and even the American church as a whole, um, and globally, is a pandemic called fear. The Bible says that that perfect love casts out all fear. It also says that God, our Father, the one who loves us, the one who called us according to his purpose and set us on his path in life and in righteousness, that he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Grace and peace, I just wanted to let someone know and remind somebody that all things are possible to them that believe. The first part of that verse says, if you can believe, then all things are possible to those that believe. Only believe. Trust God. Yes, a lot of times it's easier said than done. But trust God, there are some great things coming our way. God made us the game changers in the earth. So we are going to change the game. We are going to change the assignment of the enemy. We are going to change the assignment of those that are in power. God gave us the weapons, our worship, our prayer, our warfare, our praise. Only believe, only believe. And do not forget that because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. In Jesus' name.